Hi there. Welcome to this session on services marketing with a practical approach. We will now discuss lesson 26 that is managing demand and capacity part 2. This consists of yield management and waiting line strategies. Uh, as you might have understood by now, there can be demand capacity mismatches faced by a service business. One way to balance capacity utilization, pricing, market segmentation and financial returns is yield or revenue management. This method tries to maximize the yield, where yield equal to actual revenue by potential revenue. The potential revenue is the product of full capacity and the maximum price that can be charged per unit capacity. However, the actual revenue is the product of um, actual capacity that could be rented out at a certain price. The concept can be clarified with the following example. So, consider a movie theater with 250 seats where one seat can be sold at a maximum price of 200 INR. However, when the theater tries to sell these seats at rupees 200 each, only 100 seats get sold while the rest of the seats remain unsold. In, in this case, yield equal to actual revenue by potential revenue that is 100 multiplied by 200 by 250 into 200 that is 40 percent. Now, the theater finds out that it can sell all its seats at INR 70. In that case, yield will be 250 into 75, uh, sorry, all its seats at INR 75. In that case, yield would be 250 into 75 by 250 into 200, that is 37.5 percent. Now, let us try to sell 100 seats at rupees 200 each and the remaining 150 seats at a discounted rate of INR 75 per seat. In that case, yield is 100 into 200 plus 150 into 75 divided by 250 into 200 that is 62.5 percent. You can now understand how the yield could be increased beyond 40 percent by letting some seats out at the maximum price and some other seats at the discounted price to a segment of customers who are unwilling to pay the maximum price of a seat. In this way, the application of yield management concept allows us to balance the capacity utilization, price, segmentation and the yield from the service business. Now, coming to waiting line strategies, Bailen and Dimoulin wrote in 2007 that customers are dissatisfied when they have to wait for service delivery. Moreover, your business may lose customers if they if their wait becomes long and intolerable. You can use four strategies when you have to deal with customer waiting. These strategies are discussed in the following paragraphs. Employ operational logic. If customer waits are common, the first step is to analyze whether the operational logic of the service system is making customers wait more than necessary. For instance, Zetmal and colleagues have written in their book entitled Services Marketing that when a bank found that its customers long queues, um, it uh, uh, developed a computer based customer information system to allow tellers to answer questions more quickly, implemented an electronic queuing system, hired peak time tellers, expanded its hours and provided customers with alternative delivery channels. When queuing is inevitable, three types of waiting line configurations can be used as depicted in the figure here. So, there is multiple queue, single queue and take a number. So, in multiple queue there are multiple servers uh, and multiple queues are formed to, uh, to, to reach a particular server. When there is a, uh, again multiple queues, then a single queue can be formed and then this person at the single queue can move to any of the servers who are not serving at that point of time. Take a number, here the people come and take a number from an automatic number discharging box and they um, wait for their number to be flashed and then they reach in a particular server. So, this is called the take a number. So, there are three waiting line configurations. Research by Zhou and Soman published in 2003 suggests that the probability of a customer continuing to wait in a queue varies directly as the length of the queue behind that customer. Next, employ a reservation process. 
you might already be knowing about a reservation process in a train for instance. When a service provider has a doubt that a flight will have to leave with less than full capacity due to last minute cancellations or no show, they can resort to overbooking. In case of overbooking, the overbooked passenger knows uh, the overbook status and can be paid a compensation if he or she cannot be provided a seat in the flight. Differentiate waiting customers. The usual queue discipline is first come first serve. However, some customers can be served before others using different modes of differentiation. This include the importance of the customer. Customers who do more business with the service provider are more important to the business and can be served using a different queue. Urgency of the job. Emergency patients get attention before others do. Duration of the service transactions. Relatively shorter transactions are served before longer ones. Premium price. Customers willing to pay premium price are served before others. Making waiting pleasurable or at least tolerable. In 1985, David Meister wrote a classic article entitled The Psychology of Waiting Lines, which proposed several principles about waiting each of which has implications for how organizations can make waiting more pleasurable or at least tolerable. The principles are as follows. Unoccupied time feels longer than occupied time, so involve customers in co-creating the service while waiting. Pre-process waits feel longer than in-process waits. Remove customer worries like whether the other line is going to move faster. Uncertain waits are longer than known finite waits. When customers do not know how long they have to wait, they are more uh, they are more anxious and dissatisfied as compared to when they know the length of the time they have to wait. Unexplained waits are longer than explained waits. Unfair waits are longer than equitable waits. The more valuable the service, longer the customer is willing to wait. Solo wait feels longer than group waits. We have discussed strategies for matching supply and demand and the concept of yield management. We have also discussed various waiting line strategies including the principles of making waiting pleasurable or at least tolerable. In the next lesson, we will discuss the fifth P related to service delivery that is management of physical evidence related with service. Thank you for listening this lesson. I hope it helps.